Hello, hello, guys, and welcome to episode number 26 of the Double Trouble series. Well, we should bring this team. I don't know if we should at some point change it up a bit, but honestly, like, I still enjoy using it. And as long as you are not sick of it, like, we'll just, we'll just rock with it. And I think I have to, to keep the trend and say, I believe that today we are going to get Molly Warped, because it's been going too well. It has definitely been going too well, and as we all know, good things come to an end. And that might be right now. Right about now? Funk's our brother. We will see. We will see. Or we would see if we could find an opponent. We, eh, no. Maxi and Archie? Yeah, yeah. I feel them. I feel them. Though it would be easier if someone else was feeling them too. Maybe the opponent is just not feeling them. Maybe like Santa then. No. Tio was feeling them. That's great. Thank you, Tio. Tio. I feel like we reversed something like this in the last episode. Um. <laughs> um. So. Yes. Definitely. Incineroar Malama. Yeah. Could be nice. A bonus now? Definitely. Cafragritis, maybe. Not completely against. Kind of me. It's just like every time I see something that can fake out, everything in my brain says not to bring Star Raptor. Marina, what was your. No, Hydro Pump Moonblast Ice Beam, right? Yeah. Not really too useful. Maybe Ice Beam is a bit like. Maybe we should have Energy Ball instead. But it's just like we are both Blizzard Energy Ball and Bob, so so very. I just don't know. It's just Configurates really can't hit Snorlax at all. Which makes me feel kind of unsafe. Maybe we bring Primarina. Do we bring Primarina? We are bringing Primarina. I just decided. We are bringing. The Primaris of Renus to this battle against Tio. 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 I think I said Tio before. Tio. It's Tio. Yeah. Tio was a nice guy. Look, he is such a thoughtful guy. T totally relaxed. He is ready. We lead in Cineral Malma and he leads out with. Drumroll. Snorlax and Fini. That's um, not what I want. And it's not what I need. To fake out Finny. Could be nice. Fake outing the Finny could actually be very nice. And it's totally what I'm going to do. And I am just going to knock off. The Snorlax. Because I really don't want. It to recycle its berry all the time. It would actually be very nice of it not to. Yeah. That would be what I prefer. Dead berry. Recycle. <laughs> yeah, that was. That was what happened. Maybe we're actually just going to a bonus right now. No, maybe we actually just. Maybe we just low kick and we just superpower. Yeah. We're drawing into what? Into Manectric. Um Manectric is good. We live in. We live in. We are living. Your moonblast. We are superpowering your Manectric. It didn't do a lot, but it did some. Okay, um, so this is where we just don't switch out into Primarina. Maybe this is where we just knock off the Manectric, because I think it should be enough to take it out, and then we just protect Malamar. Because uh, I kind of don't want Malamar to die yet, especially not now that I got a plus one, that would be very unpleasant. Take it 
not now. Oh, we're plus two now. That's true. Oh, I definitely don't want Melmoth to die. Though it might... I brought a Primarina, that's true. Oh, Rain Dance. Ooh. Fancy. See who is being fancy. He's a fancy, fancy dude. Muddy water. Incineroar, please live. Don't miss. Don't get your accuracy job. Keep focus. Incineroar, keep focus. Thank you. Manectric dead. That is good. Because that's something the Primarina likes. Snorlax. And again. Mm. He's going to muddy water. And the great thing is, and I know this for a fact, is that he's going to miss one of them. So this is why we just double in. He's going to miss one. No, he's not. I thought if I believed it enough, it might have happened. But it didn't. But the Manawa lives. In rain, rain, boosted, muddy water. Get the berry, Malma. You are my favorite of this team. I, that nothing else compares to this being. I mean, it's just people underestimate it. Why is not? Why is everyone not running Malma? Everyone should run Malma. People run Malma. You won't regret it. And we go into a boomer's new. Hopefully, they don't have a cinnamon roll. Would be nice. You have Incineroar. Oh. Ew. So I need to try and get up a trick room. I mean, I would think he would fake out. Does he have a reason to fake out? Yeah, because I'm faster. I have Primarina to kind of beat the... Oh, no, no. Mega Vol. Mega Vol. Always Mega Vol. To kind of um, clean up the incineral. So if we could get up a trick room. That could be super cool. Or maybe we just superpower? Maybe we're actually just superpower. Double out. I mean... He wouldn't expect it. Like, you're going to protect you're going to switch, you're going to do something. You're, just, you're not just about to throw your snowman away. Hopefully. Moonblast. Malma's probably dead. I think he did too much the first time for it not to happen. Yeah, Malma's dead. If we could get the energy ball. Oh, he just doubles up. Oh, no. Okay, we are losing this one. Tio is doing way too well. Or maybe I'm just the one doing poorly. I actually think I'm just the one doing poorly. Probably. That was a bit too risky. Yeah. Maybe slightly. Slightly a lot. So the plan now is to ignore Incineral. Because it threatens me the least. Yeah, uh, knock off leblets. Oh, you just call mining. Oh. Oof. That's unpleasant. You knock off. I am losing my life hold. That did a lot. But I was also holding some. That's true. Can we get the special tag drop? Yes. Yes. No, that did nothing. That did absolutely nothing. Can I get a crit? No, I'm probably going to take taken out by a Moonblast. That's kind of alright, I guess. Because I don't think I would win anyway. No, that did a lot. Incineroar is going to kill itself with the flap blitz, but it's okay. No, it's actually not going to kill itself. It's actually just going to kill us. No, it's just going to kill me. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. He was just he was just ready. That's what I said. He was calm, he was peaceful, and he was just he was he was in his zone. He was in his zone. And I will be back when we have the next opponent. Yeah, sorry, just fixing my hair against Skiedo. 
That was such a bad use of my language. Um, he has a feral form. That guy has a feral form, guys. Guys, 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 he has a feral form. Um... And he has two fake out users, and he has a freaking oof. Mm. This is unfortunate. Um, we need Incineroar, unfortunately, a lot. So Raptor is not dealing well with the two fake outers. Yes, we could fake out the fake out, but we can't fake out the right here faster than he can fake out us. It'll be really unfortunate. Um. Almost not, it's just kind of the only thing I have for <sighs> for the Feeny. Mm. Mm. I don't know. I'm considering Star Raptor. Let's bring the bag. I think it's Water type because if like it all fails and we have it in the end, then maybe it can take something down. That would be nice. If everything comes to it, we might be able to do something. I mean, it has an earlier episode. It has. We once in a while, I think, come in and did something good. Maybe it can this time too. Just general Melma. Cineral Melamon, Cineral Cresselia. Mm. My Cineral is faster than his, so I think I'm going to fake out his Cineral because then his Cineral can't fake out me. Right? Isn't that how it works? think so maybe I mean he has a decent rating so he knows he knows what he's doing god man he knows what he's doing with this moon duck and his fighting tiger best description never it's one of those that actually takes his time on the first turn to really think through instead of just clicking moves and hoping that everything goes well we know the type we know the type Know the type a bit too well. Happens a bit too often. Yeah. Look, he's actually really taking his time. So we figure out. And we knock off. That does a lot. You have no berry, you flinch, and your trick room. Oh! I mean, that is unpleasant. That's actually very unpleasant. Um, but I think we... Uh, did he have anything in the back that we really need to see move for? No. I'd actually much rather see if I could blow this crest out of the way. And maybe in case he has the U-turn, just protect Malamar. Cresselia helping hands. Ooh. Helping hand what? Hopefully not low kick. But that would only make up for the minus one, so I wouldn't think so. Knock off. Oh, we protected. That was so nice. So nice. Okay. That's a dead crest. That's a dead crest. That's such a dead crest. That is the deadest crest I have ever seen. Hopefully. I haven't seen too many dead crests. Don't want to see it. And they're not dead. They're fainted. They call them dead. They're not dead. Unless they are dead. But they're not dead. Because this is not a graveyard. This is not a graveyard. The graveyard is 300 meters away. Just about. Yeah. Yeah, that was a bit awkward. Yeah, it's okay. Um, he has a feral phone. Which is, at the best, unfortunate. And at the worst, very unpleasant. No, we just, we just attack. Ferrofon protects. Yeah, makes sense. Because we're flipping. I could have predicted it, um, but I feel like we're going to live. 
going to live pretty damn well. We have Lepis, protected, we superpower. Get a defense boost. Nearly 16 in a row out. Um, what did we have in the back? A bonus no incineral. Okay. So I think we live one hit. Both of them live one hit, but they don't live two. I think I want to protect Malamar because Malamar is still like Malamar's nice. Malamar's doing a lot, so Malamar's protecting. Because I don't feel like these two combined can take out. Oh, you lazy the Malamar. Oh, yeah, new Loki Incineroar. Incineroar is going to eat that. Like that's Incineroar's lunch, and that should be a very. I mean, we are minus one, but that's a very dead Feral phone. That is a very dead Feral phone. It's so dead. It is so dead. Um, though it's in a row, isn't really that alive either. But I mean, it's still here. It's still here. That's true. Hmm, and a Gyarados. So, he might not mega. And I kind of feel like switching out into Star Raptor. How, how many turns of Trick Room do we have left? I'm also looking for Trick Room. Is this the last turn? Actually, um, which Pokemon am I on? Yeah, I'm on Cineral. That's cool. Go into Star Raptor. And I think we're just Superpower. The Incineroar. Because I don't think it has Protect. At least it hasn't gone fought yet. Yeah, it wasn't the side. It's just like, it's mirrored. I have no idea what side to take my hands on to go to the right side. I mean, I might render some apps a bit less useful, but we get an Intimidate off of both of these. And Gyarados protects. That's perfect. Ain't nobody caring about your Gyarados. Flare Blitzing, we should live. You are minus two and plus one. I did nothing. That basically tickled. That tickled Malamar. Okay, the thing is, he is probably, I would think, mega. But I don't think he necessarily mega evolves right now. But I think this is where we just find Gambit and we knock off. Because I don't think he has any way to prevent that. And we are at so much attack bonus that I have no idea. Yeah, and he forfeits. That makes sense, that makes sense. And I think we're time for third game actually, so I will be right back. And we have the last one. Some guy from Japan. He his name ends with a C. That's nice. Like is that what about like the C? Yeah, you call C. It's just because you don't call C in Dan in, in Danish. You do not call it Z in Danish. I have no idea what that was, and I would wish that you never mention it to anyone again. He actually has no fake out user. Is this where we leave these two? Um, it's just me, me, me. Um, the that's good and the bad. That's, that's both good and bad here. Um, I mean, Melma doesn't really hit anything super. I mean, we can knock off Metacross, but it's Mega, so yeah. Um, Avocarona is actually a problem, believe it or not. So maybe we need these two. No, that's a bad idea. But we need Incineroar. Like crazy. Maybe if we just do that. Maybe we bring Star Raptor. It's. Mm, I've almost. Oh, like, it's. <laughs> It does well, but it also does pretty bad. <laughs> it does well and does pretty bad at the same time. Primarina could actually maybe be good. Hmm? We just could actually be good too. But I have literally one second so that it's not going to happen. So we're just going in to go in with... We're just going to go in with these four. I just hope for the best. There's nothing else we can do. Maybe maybe I should like straighten my back. Yeah. They say it's healthy. Actually they say it's not. I mean it's good service. 
like back stretch, but it's not like good to sit like in a 90 degree iPad. So it's just chill. That's not awkward at all. Uh, I don't feel it. I get too low. I looked pink. I look pink. It's because the weather's pretty good. And good weather is kind of. I mean, it's good. But it's also bad. Like, I'm not good at heat. Just not good at heat. You have Tapafini and a circuit tree. That's something that I don't like. And I was afraid I just feel like killing your secretary and hope that it goes well, which it might not. That was not a lot of thought process. The thought process is that um, I'm living a hit with both, and if we could kill circuitry, that's nice. We have a primarina. Primarina does not like circuitry, and that would prevent us from setting up. And getting up to Requiem would be rather nice. Because his team was faster than ours for most part. Actually for all parts. Was the ones that we chose to bring. For all parts. Because we only have one fast. And we let the birds stay at home I think. Yeah I think we bought Marina set right? Oh you ball switch. Oh. That did a lot. That was a lord of damage. We will see. Celesteela. Oh, but then your Celesteela's just dead instead. That's also cool. Moonblast. Okay, so we trade Malamar for Celesteela. Not super happy. Um, but uh, in this one case, I actually don't think the matchup was not really to the favor of. Of. Malamar anyway, so that's I think I think we are uh, we have the opportunity for something. Let's say like that. We have the opportunity to do something for something. Uh, somehow, some way. And killing a Silsila is always good in my book. It always makes me slightly happy. It's not dead. It's still not dead. The graveyard is still three hundred meters away. We haven't moved. Um Yeah, it's circuitry. So we are going inside Bomber Snow because we cannot Taking a Primarina while there's still a secretary around. No. No, that would be foolish. That would be so foolish. We get an Apoma Snow. South we didn't get Trick Room, but it's okay. Oh, you're going to Metagross. That was like the worst thing that could have ever happened, ever. Um. And I think you're going to protect your Metagross. Because you want some damage off so you, that you can take me out with your type of Fini first. Actually, so I think we might just go into Primarina and I think we might just... Do we just Energy Ball? Are we frisky? I feel super frisky. It might not pay off at all and if it is, it's a super bad prediction. But I think that Incineroar is the biggest problem right now because Abomus Nose are really taking out anything like he has a Metagross. He has a freaking Metagross. Abomus Nose is not hitting a Metagross. That's only Incineroar's job. Don't even know that Incineroar can take it out in one shot, though. So we might just be playing a bit too risky, but it's okay. It's okay. What could possibly go wrong? A lot of things. If he doesn't protect, then a lot of things. But we will see. We will see. We will see. Right in a second. No, not right in a second, because I have to uh, make a lot of two. Would it pr his protect would have gone off before I make evolve the thing, wouldn't it? No, he iron heads. I'm dead. That was a bad prediction. I could have just killed that thing with an ah. Never play risky. Never playing risky again. Always going after the book the next time. Because that was so much not worth it. We could have killed the Metagross. We could have protected the Bombers now, and we would have been. Pretty freaking sad. Would have been so sad. <sighs> because right now we have to. <laughs> I have to moonblast you, I guess. 
No, maybe we have to protect you. It's just like the circuitry just did so much damage. I think he protects. He has to protect for me to even have a chance at this. So he has to protect. Please, dude, protect. You're Japanese, I know. Oh, he didn't protect. I am so gone. That is so bad. I'm so bad at predicting against the sky. I think he's better than me. Oh, this is playing better. Now it's just like the super risky play. Like if I had actually just gone for the flare blitz and I protect, this would have been any wise decision ever to do that. We would have been pretty sad. But um, that's not what I did. That's unfortunately not what I did at all. So we just, we just double. We just double. Mmm, yeah, we double. We double. We double. If he protects now, I'm out. Then I'm just out. He's dumbing tantrums. Somebody won. Oh, he dumbing tantrums from Arena. Oh, he has a C move. Okay, Incineroar is so dead. Like, never ever before. If I had not made that stupid play, that was so stupid. I should just slap this protected. That would have been so fine, but I guess I've either been gone or super duper close to being gone, and it would have been so much nicer. And we still had it with Bummer Storm, and we would just have been in a nicer position. Yeah. So that was my fault. That was not the fault of the team. That was my brain that decided to make a huge fart. Yeah. It's fair enough. Shit happens. We all get over it. So, with that. Thank you guys for watching and I will see you next time. Bye!